get a little bit of a some sort of a show of excitement here. Oh, I tell you what, I didn't see a spark, but I felt one. Good afternoon, folks. It's Peter back again. Saturday, the 25th of November. Just been a drizzly day all day today. I think we've had four mil overnight and another four up until, what is it, four o'clock in the afternoon now. <coughs> I've been taking it pretty easy. Had some coffee this morning with some rat bag mates of mine. Thought I'd come back and have a little look at the little project here. It is a little TEA20. There's the, the uh, serial number there. It's got a few additional things that they never come out with. See the old, the old uh, whatever it was light switch from way back last century that works the ignition works we did get it put the new water pump on yesterday that works well Matt was here for a bit we turned her over and got it to cough once or twice it appears there's a spark on one cylinder number four so <clears throat> I'm gonna try and get some old spark leads off one of the old wreck vehicles we've got out the back see if we can get some I don't want to spend any money on it at the moment until I see what I got the um, carburetor was all blocked up with corrosion and that was the little gold screen that was in there I tried lightly buffing it up with a wire brush got a lot of it off but it's still no good and there was, the seal was all swollen anyway I'll put an o-ring an oversized o-ring up there in the receiver and that's holding now with the tap on and looking good. The carby was quite um, locked up too. Took all the needles and valves out. Um, that was leaking at first. Now that's settled down. So that part's good. So what I'm going to do now is just try and get some spark plug leads that will hopefully give us spark on four of the cylinders instead of one so that's the update at the moment folks I'm back again I've just it's only been five minutes since I, my last update I've grabbed a few of the some leads off an old four cylinder we had over there in the rubbish dump there but <clears throat> I failed to or well, didn't tell you about the main problem I found yesterday after I put the water pump on once I'd put the water pump on the thermostat housing there you can see it's got quite a hole in it and it was water spraying everywhere so that put a stop to that so anyway we're just working through process of elimination and I think I can get one housing there for about $80 Australian so we've ordered one of them um, and I'll try and see if these if I put these leads on whether it'll make it go or not but <clears throat> I'm a little bit concerned that they're carbon leads rather than wire leads and these old girls were designed for wire leads so the resistance or the voltage required to get the carbon ones to work is generally a bit higher so it may work it may not anyway we'll give it a try righto folks well I've put these leads on um, we'll see how it goes it takes a lot longer as you get older to do stuff and I find my hands start to shake when I'm doing stuff and I get annoyed at that and then I think, well hang on, that gives me more time to think about what I'm doing. So you always got to look on the bright side, eh? Anyway, I've got no one harassing me, so I can take my time. I'm going to see if it'll turn over and I'm just going to see if I've got spark now. So, we'll see how that goes. spark there so that, that, that's good we can eliminate something it may well be 
that it's the leaves. So I did have spark on number four. So I'll try that one. And if that doesn't work, then I know it'll be the leaves. You know what, folks? I just said I had, when you've got time, you've got time to think, you know, when you've got the shakes and all that. But <clears throat> I'm jumping the gun. All that thinking time didn't help me one little bit because I never turned the ignition on. You've got to do that if you want spark, apparently. So we'll see how we go. The timing's one, three, four, two. So one, three, four, two. That's right. Well, you never know what might happen. That's why life's exciting. You just don't know what's going to happen. Right, now we'll see if we've got the spark on number one. It's a bit hard, folks, doing all this with one hand. Anyway, there's the earth, so we'll see if we can get a little bit of a, some sort of a show of excitement here. Oh, I tell you what, I didn't see a spark, but I felt one. Now that's always funny for others looking on, but it's never funny for the one who gets it. I don't know why that is. But I'm going to try that. I'm going to put that back in. I'm going to try number four again. And this I'm going to try not to get zapped. It wasn't a heavy zap, but I hate them. I don't like them at all. That's a good one. That's a good spark. We've got spark. So, we had all sorts of business going on here earlier. It did, it did sort of cough on one cylinder. So I'm going to open that up. One and a quarter turns that main one. I disconnected that because it was running fuel out of there and I wanted to see what was going on. That has stopped, so it's not leaking at all with the fuel turned on. So I'm real pleased about that. I've got my jumper leads on. Yeah. In the absence of starter fluid, you can use brake cleaner, but it's not, it's not good, really, but we'll see, just give her a bit of a zap, where can I put you, there's not a lot of spots to, maybe I'll sit her up here, maybe that'll be better. Folks, I call that a success. I think I'm going to have to knock off, otherwise I'll have achieved too much. Well, I reckon I had maybe I had at least two going, possibly two and a half, but I think there was one that wasn't working. But anyway, that's a start. That is a start. Stand by for the next update. Well, just a few minutes later, and I'm not going to run this too much longer. But we've got spark on all four leads, but 
number two and three are not firing, so everything and then one of them kicks in, so I reckon I might put some new spark plugs in and that'll be the next thing. So I'll shut it off now. Because I don't want to throw the beat. And we'll see if, see if this dear old switch works. Look at that. Oh, success. How can there be so much fun on a Saturday afternoon? I'm going to leave it there, folks. I think I'm going to knock off. It's all too much excitement for me. Well, folks, another day. And I've been doing some pondering and thinking about my little project here. It starts and runs very easily on two cylinders, number one and number four. Um, number two and three are lazy, if not, well, I'm not sure. It could be the spark plugs. Um, I don't particularly want to just go to town right now and get another set of spark plugs because I th think I can maybe isolate it a little further. Um, if it was, I think it could be inlet valves because... Uh, exhaust valves, I'm sorry, because if it were inlet valves, I don't think it would start and run so easily on one and four because it would interrupt the induction air delivery and it, they often won't run nicely if you've got a, an inlet valve that's troublesome. If it's the exhaust valve, well, it should chuff a bit more. Um, and what I'm going to try and do, take that off again now that it's stopped raining. I've made up this little, I'll put a bit of plastic PVC on my air gun and I've tapered the end of it on the grinder. I'm just going to push that down in there. You know, in the old days we didn't have any of this, you know, compression testers and all that. Well, we did, but we sometimes you don't always get to use that sort of stuff and I'm just trying to use old style methods of diagnosis so what I'm going to do is turn it over I'm going to take this cap off and because the fire in order is 1342 that means that if I want to get number get that settled where it's supposed to be so I can show you there there it is so that's number one that's number four one three that's number three so that's one with the plug out so what I want to do is get that well that's right where it is so I've just got to turn that back a bit and number three will be on top dead center so both valves should be blocked they could be should be closed now if I blow air down here now it should it should blow back at me and not let me or we'll hear noise out the exhaust pipe if the exhaust valve's the one that's the trouble. So we'll try. Oh. Now I'm not tricking folks, so this was not a practice run. Or well, is not. So we've definitely got an exhaust valve gone on number three. I'll just show you. These little tractors are so good, you can just lean over them and get where you want to go. So, I'm going to put my hand over it. It's straight through. So we've definitely got an exhaust valve gone, which is good. So, I suspect that number two is similar. So, I'll just I'll whip that plug out and we'll do the test on that one too. Well folks, I'm not sure how much of this mat will edit out, but there's been a few minutes where, on reflection, I've been as big a deal as one could expect. That's a troublesome thought for me, but it shouldn't be because I should be used to it by now. I was making a fundamental mistake. I didn't even check the direction of rotation on this distributor. And I started counting number one's right, and I thought, well, it's going that way, so number two, uh, no, one, three, four, two, so number three, four, and two. Because of that, I had it wide in that direction. Now, it was running beautifully on two cylinders, one and four, and I thought, hmm, that's a bit strange. Anyway, I did a test, 
I put a bit of air down it when, when this one was on um, top dead center and we got air out the exhaust pipe. I thought that's it, blown exhaust valve. But then when I spun it over with the cap off, I thought, hang on, let's go in the wrong, let's go in the opposite direction. And of course, you know what that means? That means that on on the one cycle, you're going to have one and four that are going to fire at the right time because they're both in the right spot, but two and three are out. So remarkably, I turned it around and I've got some confidence that, well, I'm hoping that it'll make all the difference. So I'll click the button on, the ignition on. Well, before I, I'll give it a little, just a little sniff of um, encouragement. That's it there. Park that over there. And we'll see what happens. You've got to laugh when you're so stupid. But you know what I think we all have our days of stupidity, don't we? And if you don't laugh at it, then you probably won't learn much at it. So, but new water pump, we do need a new thermostat housing there. And um, that one's coming. I think I think it'll go quite nicely. I did the oil pressure gauge is a bit slow. So I did just crack it here where it the oil feed for the, the gauge is and it was it was um, pressurizing there so I'm confident that it's got oil. It's running without water and it's just got premium lead in the fuel. I need to put a bit of upper cylinder lubricant in that. I don't want it to run like this. But I don't know. I just I'm very very sort of excited at what's happened but at the same time it's tempered with a good dose of humility. <laughs> anyway folks, let's see. Let's see what happens in the next update. Over now. See you later.